for videos just like this one be sure to check out my ch my my channel check out my playlist i have very many good videos that will help you in your photography so without much further ado let's get into the video <music> Hi there, my name is Evans. In today's video, you're going to learn how to shoot a slow motion video on Canon EOS-4000D or the Rebel T100. The Canon EOS-4000D can film in full HD, 1920x1080 pixels in 30 or 24 frames per second. Slow motion is also possible because when you're filming at 1280 by 720 pixels up to 30 images are being captured per second so in this photos and the okay right now I've I've just switched my lenses I was having these 80 this 50 millimeter on my 80d camera and uh, the one that I'm using to film is the actually the kit lens for the photos and D. so I've just changed for my blogging and zooming so full HD can be taken using this camera but it is of 30 or 30 fps or 25 fps now if you want to shoot a slow motion video using your canon 4000d camera you'll have to use the 1280 by 720 pixels which will allow you to get more images per second okay the fps what is fps what is frames per second frames per second which is also known as the frame rate simply means that how many images are captured per second so if you are taking a full hd in 1920 by 1080 pixels it means that in your 4000 you'll be taking like 30 or 24 photos per second but then when you're filming in 1280 by 720 pixels you will be getting 60 images per second. How is that good? Perfect for what? For slow motion video. So, slow motion can only be done in 60 FPS or in 120 FPS in other cameras. Because to get a slow motion video, the original video of 120 or the 60 FPS is lowered to a 30 or a 24 FPS. So without much further ado, turn on your camera and get some coffee or get some juice, sit tight, have your camera and let's get into the illustration. Okay, so as you can see here, this is my photo D. And with me, I have some water in this plastic cup and I'll pour it to my glass just right there in front of my 4000d camera this one here i have the bowl made of glass and i have my water and switch to movie mode now you can see that bowl just right there this is the bowl all right so on your 4000D camera, first it is good if you go just and click on menu. Just make sure that your movie exposure, you can use auto but I prefer you to use manual. So just go to manual, then click menu again to go back. Then, okay, here. Okay, when you're shooting now in the slow motion video, there is one thing that you need to know that if you are shooting at 60 fps then the shutter speed has to be double of that frame rate so just here at the bottom right here the first in the first place is 125 1 over 125 that is my shutter speed on my just next to it that is the aperture of the lens it is one it is 50 millimeter 1.8 that is the lens and this is the iso so just go to menu then go to video system make sure that your video system is set to ntsc 
All right. And then the movie recording size you cannot shoot at 1920 by 1080 which is 30 frames per second. You cannot do that if you are looking for to get a slow motion video. You have to go to 1280 by 720 pixels. That one you will get 60 fps. So select 1280 by 720 fps. Then just click on menu again. Okay, so now this is it. Because it is 60 fps, the double of that has to be at that one, which is 1 over 125. Record the video now. I click, I just press this button, then I record my video. then hit pause. Now, if I'm going to play that video, let's play it, we see. The video is playing on my 4000D. That is the video. Okay, so we've just completed the first part of the video. And now the last part is that after you've taken the footage, just remove the card off your camera, put the card in your laptop and do not edit it in your software. Take any software. With me, I'll use the Wondershare Filmora 9, which I'll use to just export the video. I'll show you in my software, in my laptop right away. So let's get into it. Okay, here we are now. This is my card right here. Okay, so I've just put the card in the camera and now I'm opening my software. All right, so I'll just go to the photo, to the, to the video, sorry. To the video in my card. Here it is, here is the video. Let me just play it. Then I record my video. Yeah. That is the video. Now I'll just drag and drop it. So I'll drag it. And drop it to there so you do not edit the video here you don't edit the video what you do you just export the video this is the video so just click on export then you go to the setting the setting here as you can see here the resolution is 18 is 1280 by 720 and the frame rate is 60 fps and the size is that and the duration is 15 seconds so just go to setting settings there then select at the frame rate select to the lowest frame rate that you can get you can go to 30 fps you can go to 24 29 you can go to 15 to get a a slow a much slower video you go to the lowest frame rate so i'll just go to 24 fps and then click on okay then export the video as you can see i have not edited the video all right it is exporting Perfect. The video is exported successfully. And now let's just find the target. Okay. Here is the video. The video 3. This one here. Just when you play it. Then I record my video. Okay. 
can see there is a, a little slow mo. Okay, the video is not showing really the perfect slow mo because I did the water in the mug and the then heat. The video is focus. too focused on the plates. Then too I small. My video. I did another. Okay, I did another frame rate at 15 fps. I did another slow mo. So let's check it out. So I named it this one. Then I record my video. Then check it out. So there it is. But when we compare it with the original video, you can see that the original video is much faster. So that is how you get it on your 4000D DSLR camera. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. It is very helpful and to know much more about your camera and everything about to do about photography, check out all my videos. I'm very best at this. Anything that you want on anything that you want on photography on 4000D on whatever lens that you want me to do a video just put it in the comments section share my videos and see you on the next video thank you